Sophie has just returned from Spiel. This is the day after her return to Denmark. And we got something really special. We got a Arthurian Legends booster box. But if you look very closely, you can see that this box has been signed by Eric Olofsson himself. And we're going to crack it and we hope it contains some nice goodies. And just wanted to thank all of you coming up to me saying hi Spiel. It was amazing to meet more community members. And a special thank you to Sorcery Gaffers Club, Joss and Rachel going all the way from Canada to visit to see Spiel of course and to come and see all those events at the Sorcery booth and the White Rabbit. Also, thank you to Jürgen from Nerd and Proud of It, and of course the entire Sorcery team and everybody I met there. Too many people to thank, but just one special thank you more to Savannah Lyon. It was amazing to meet you. He has been a subscriber since we were under 100, I believe, and it was really, really great to meet so many people in person. So let's let Jens open it and have some fun. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. So. Enjoy this wonderful box art. It's by Elvira Shakiroa and it's absolutely stunning. I also think that a lot of people at Spiel said exactly that. I think that um, it grabbed a lot of attention. People just walking by, all that glimmer and gold in the background and they have like this podium with candlelight and you know flowers and draping uh, and a lot of people were just like really instantly caught their eye. And you notice this signature by Eric. We are, of course, going to open this. Yes, we did speculate yes. if we wanted to open it or if we wanted to keep it. But I think we're putting the box back and keeping that as a forever memento of uh, a really cool and yeah. fun time at Spiel. And this was uh, because Simon and the team really wanted to send me home with something for Jens, who unfortunately couldn't be there to participate in all the fun and games. Do we want to just pop it and uh, let the people see how nice it looks when you no. fold it? No, 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 no folding, no folding. I think that uh, we need to uh, try to keep this box unscathed so it can be saved in some. I like, I like the way you think. Capacity. Good plan. So I'm trying not to have too much violence occur. Good. I'm gonna put it over here for All safekeeping. Right. There. So these are the booster so packs. This is uh, the first time you're opening a booster? It is. Do you want to open the box topper as well? Just give people an insight in as to what's in there? Yes, I can do that. So we have an avatar. This is the Templar avatar. It has tap, play, or draw a sight. And the first knight, so a dam you cast each turn, cost one less. Oh, look. Pull tab. Pull tab. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> There's a pull tab at the bottom as well. Uh, second chance. Pull tab. I ah. fucked that one up too. All right. But as you all know, violence. Okay, where's my scissor? <laughs> Ooh. There no we are. cards were hurt in this process, <laughs> right? Presumably. Hopefully. All right, so we have, eh, we have the Templar, it's an avatar. Just trying to put these down here. And this one is really cool. We have seen, I've seen some of these in the openings. It's the Druid avatar and you can actually summon both an owl. You can also tap summon Bruin here and then flip this card. And there you have Bruin. It's a big effing bear with four power. And then this Druid becomes you know, active. And you still have the tap player draw side, but whenever an enemy enters a nearby side, it takes one damage. So I have this little pink damage, and I think this might be really cool. Yes, I did see yeah. a lot of people actually uh, trying that out and trying to play with it in Sealed. That's Tavani. How did it go? Uh, some no. people were successful, but I think Sealed is just a bit harder because you don't have the same, you know, choices as Constructed. Look at that. Beautiful. Flip that around as well. Boom. And that is by... Tony Sutlow. Yeah. And that might actually be the OG art. Yeah. All right. Let's get cracking. So I'm just gonna hang out here and watch you open some packs because I already had the pleasure of opening two boxes while at Spiel. Oh, I'm so envious. Sugar Bloom Pixies. This was one of the cards spoiled. And, uh, 
content creator spoiling round. Red Cap Paris. Ooh, ooh, how's yes, that? A unique mortal, Sir Percival. Very cool, very cool. Wow, we have a foil. Oh, nice. The fine Corsa. Charge movement plus one, make carry an ally. Let's Any a little uh, Easter eggs hiding? No Easter eggs, but very beautiful art. Who did this? Oh, Andrea Modesti. Very beautiful. <laughs> Finn wife, that's fun. Oh, the Hamlet. I'm loving that. Uh, one of your favorite cards? Yep. Charge. Common cottages. And these are really nice, providing just that one threshold. So you might easily your splash. Field laborers. I think this card is absolutely broken. If you can't get this off the field, it's going to ramp a lot. Oh, for sure. Oh, very beautiful. Bark. And we get we have a ton of new sites in Ethereum Legends, which is definitely also going to be oh, fun. Oh, lovely. This is one of the cards I'm going to build the deck around. Great, great, great. First pack and First already pack. a foil. So by the looks of it, we had uh, at Spiel the 64 player. Um, huh. Oh, another one. Uh, where 64 players all oh. opened uh, an entire box. And it looks like there's going to be between 9 and 12 uh, uniques <laughs> in the pack. Wow, that was fun. So Gavain, also And around unique. 6 foils. Indeed. Brown Bears, Jeff A. Mingus. Yes. Are the cards that you uh, One of the noticed. cards that we spotted in an older video because he had his note sketchbook out and it actually said Brown Bass, Galahad and also Camelot and all these came true. Vikings. Vikings. One of the cards that saw a lot of play. Oh yeah, for sure. In the SEAL tournament on Saturday. And a new Earth site. Yes, so we're going a to... village. It sounds like by the sound of it that we're going to get for each set another of the four because we have the four rivers because the winter river was in the kickstarter now we're getting the fourth common village or ordinary village so i'm um, i'm assuming that we're going to see the rest of the uh, uh, site cycle with the fourth edition cool so briar patch oh another pink yeah. damage again exactly and what are these? They are giants. We also know that Ethereum Legends has a lot of typo yes, going there's around. Yes, there's a lot of uh, focus on that. Oh, this was one of the cards that Sean and I really spoke a lot about because it's actually his design. Yeah, it's the snowball. Yes. And it's going to snowball <laughs> and deal a lot of damage to more creatures it can pick up. Especially if you are going to be playing that in multiplayer. Yeah, it feels a little like Rolling Boulder, yeah. but just a little more wacko. Yeah, exactly. On. A little more fun. Oh, Pendragon Legacy. Oh, I don't even think I've seen that card. Shuffle any number of unique cards from your territory into your decks. Draw a card wow. for only one. That's amazing. That is indeed amazing. Very good card. I think this is a very, very good card, actually. Absolutely. Also because you get to draw a card. Yeah, for sure. There's actually a lot of cards that just allow you to draw that single card. And as we see again, the giant uh, table is really something that's strong in this set. And now we need to remember, looking through our ordinary section, if we see anything that's not an ordinary card. Indeed. I would really love to actually see a Curio in person. That would be kind of, ooh, Share with Hunter is also a very played card in the tournament. Oh, this one, I'm very, very, you know, happy about it. It's like the fireball, but just for air, and it's magic missiles. I'm loving this. I really like the art. It's very cool. I would love to see magic missiles and foil. I oh, think that yes. would be really nice. Omnis Owl, I think this is a really good card too. Hedwig. Hedwig. <laughs> <laughs> it has airborne, it's a one power minion for one, but it also functions like a summoning portal. So I think this is kind of cool. Yeah, and airborne is also really interesting because of the movement pattern. Yeah. It does give you some extra flexibility compared to non airborne. And I also think that we have seen a lot of cards in Ethereum Legends that interact more with the grid. Yeah, for sure. Definitely stuff like burning hands, all kinds of fire breathing, ton of cards. Funeral Pyre. Genesis. Banish up to three cards from one cemetery. So that's going to be annoying for Dead Speakers. For sure. I am in Tau? Yes. That's really huh. a fun Can't one. Can't be disabled or moved by force. Yeah, okay. 
Wow. The annual fare, right? Yeah. And that's a site that functions like a threshold supplier for only one. So that's cool. Also very gorgeous art. Oh. The black plate. That's a new one as well for me. That's a unique. I love this card. Um, it's a unique aura of insidious disease. It's a four casting cost. Has two uh, air threshold. At the end of your turn, the weakest minion occupying affected sites dies. If tied, choose one. Dispel if none die. So that's going to be able to board, you know, wipe a lot of creatures at a specific location. And if you're playing the Enchantress, this might even get to hit something afterwards. Yep. That is a very cool card, I think. Ooh, Ooh. look! A far funeral pyre. Oh, look at that moon, like in the top, oh, the crescent. Oh, that's yeah, sorry. beautiful. Gorgeous. Just trying to flip it. I don't see any Easter eggs on this one. But I like the, you know, <laughs> silhouettes and the figures. Oh, that's awesome. Can we put it just down just a little bit? Yeah. I think it's difficult to see the foiling. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. There we go. Very beautiful. Okay, try to stay in frame here. Yes. Pond. Lethal Submerge, wow. The that was also a played a lot because this new lands mechanic really uh, was really popular. Maybe we want to flip the uh, side cards. So it's a fire side. Genesis, you may pay one to conjure a broken near lands token here. That's cool. Also because those lands tokens, they became really important when you played. For sure. Having first strike is really powerful. They actually powerful. have a lot more effect than I initially had imagined. Yeah. Oh, let's check with the squire. That is, of course, the option. It is not the curio version, not but curio. good to know that you need to check it. This is a very good card, too. Only an ordinary, only two casting cost. One at a time, each ally takes up to two steps. Each ally. Yeah. That's a lot, a lot of, of movement. extra movement. And, you know, it's very hard to actually try to defend against. Yeah. For sure. Wow. Let us stray. Yes. Gorgeous art. And very uh, flavorful art as well. She's just like luring them in <laughs> off the right <laughs> path. Indeed. Okay, okay. And those packs, I mean, the packaging of this one is just like top notch. Beautiful. Kainixi. Oh, Vanishment. Very good card, too. I'm getting a lot of the cards that I want. Cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Then Ooh. I get to get whacked over cool the head cast. with them later when yeah. we play. Oh, I haven't seen this oh. one either. Oh, it's that one. Post and gate, an elite site of surprising angle of attack. Enters the room under an opponent's control. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I get it now. I get it now. So you place this, you know, near your sites. It's controlled by the opponent, and then you just go and pound it. Ah, yes. Ah, it makes sense now. Makes sense. A little slow there. I place it down here. Can you see it? No, no not, not really. But again, we get to. Uh, we're probably going to have a look at the cool cards at the end. Yeah, just trying to. And you can't really see it if you are holding the cards up. It takes all the focus. Okay, but you yeah, we'll we'll show it at the end. Mm, the village and squires. We also heard a little talk about those at the uh, end. Reckless squire was really impactful as well. See, this one was a Burning magic hands. that everybody was including. Hmm. And it was actually a lot more effectful than what you notice on the card. Also because it can be cast by an allied mortal. Exactly. So you don't even have to do it from your avatar. Or having a spellcaster. Exactly. So that's really cool. Oh, Thieving Magpie. I think this is going to see a lot of play. It's going to have those Philosopher's Stones shifting hands a lot. Yes, for sure. The Harp. The Finn wife. Again, fun. Indeed. And the Henge by Jeff A. Mingus. And we had thought it would be Stonehenge, but... I was certain it would be Stonehenge, and I was certain it was going to be unique. But I, I, I think it's fun that they're doing something different with it. Yeah. And it could, you know, supply with a lot of card draw if you place your sights correctly. Exactly. If you sort of build around it or with a thought for it. I love the art on this one. Hundreds of You see, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's an aura of this kind, both for ordinary, exceptional, elite, and unique. Cool. So, but yeah, it, it pretty much destroys the, the place it's, uh, it's played. All right. Fuel Empire, seen that a lot now. Yes. Mm, a 
three three with charge. It yeah. needs to they attack. They shouldn't kind of mean. They do. It's red caps, and they are a nasty sort of fairies. Yes. And they ah. need to attack each turn, or else they'll die. But that's pretty much what you're going to do with them anyway. So why not just have some fun? Yes, but it was actually kind of interesting uh, when talking with Eric. That they that he said they're trying to fill out the rest of the world, so it isn't just all the Ethereum knights, but you also get a lot of like smaller creatures, the family, the hunters, uh, really sort of like world build a lot with this set. Spear marshals, once on your turn, spear marshal may acquire a lands token. So do you think that means it can get a lands token each turn? Yes. That's I think that's kind of good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but as you said, I like that they're, you know, world building a lot. Yeah, also, I just think it makes the knights feel extra cool and special because everything isn't... I love that one, by the way. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I love that everything isn't love just like a knight, but actually also... Uh, that just look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? Uh, but that you also get, like, the feel of the world that you're in, that you see mm. field laborers, that you see the blacksmith, um, and then you see all of, like, the noble houses or knights and joust very flavorful yeah castle servants it just it helps build up this world with the narrative story that is really like you know characteristic for sorcery yeah and also you know the, the power level that the ordinary folks are less powerful and then the knights being the elites and the unique exactly and sean also explained it like in the beginning you're playing like just a little uh maybe a bird and a servant and then you're slowly Ooh. building up to be able to play the knights. A little homage to early magic with the white knight and the black knight. For sure. But we also have other colors, of course. Oh, the poison will. Very cool. This card. might be one of the cards that we also were some of the uh, the ones to sleuth. Ooh. Oh, now we need to. No, oh, it's in the elite slot. The Archimago. This can be a curio, but of course not in this slot. But let's show where it would be different. So had it been a curio, it would say Spillbook instead of Avatar on the back. Yes. But this is an ordinary Archimago, and I think that's an Elite. I think it's an Elite as well, yes. As far as I remember from seeing the Elite sheet, it was on there. So we're another possible Curio there. Oh, Red Crest, Breast, Breast. No, I said Red Crest. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that Crest? No, it is Red Breast, huh, because okay. it's the breast of the bird. But isn't crest also another word for breast? No, that's like what you have around your neck. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I like this card. Yeah, me too. It saw a lot of gameplay and was really annoying because it had that like little ping damage. Mm. Indeed. Hunter's Lodge. Saracen Scout. I really like that card as well. Yeah. It can be cast to any side without enemies. So you can play this, you know, all the way on your opponent's back row or wherever you want and start pounding. Especially if you're at an opportune moment, can play it next to your opponent's avatar. Oh yes. Squeakers! Squeakers. This is fun. It's like uh, three evolutions of pigs. You have the little pigs, larger pigs, and big evil pigs. Exactly. Eric also said that they were kind of nervous at some point because they're like, okay, we have all these little animals and it's supposed to be the focus on the knights and all these cool guards, and all everyone is focusing on is are like these pigs and, and animals. <laughs> Mm. I, th I think it's fun. I think it's it's good it's flavorful, that everything right? isn't knights. Oh, the silly art. Face city. Beautiful. Tap an allied fairy here, shoot a projectile, it deals one damage. So, yeah, kind of cool. I'm, I'm not certain this is going to see that much play, but no. let me see if I get to eat but, my words. But I'm absolutely uh, yeah, loving the in art. love with the art of it. More uh, caps. Burrin Blue Cap Naga site can't be moved, destroyed, or modified. I wonder how this, you know, goes with um, roots, because roots destroys everything. But are these also destroyed while they're underneath the site? That's a good question. I have no idea. But again, here is your opportunity to also do a little advertising for Kirosa.io. You can check all of the cards, and each card has a fact. So you can go see if there's questions there and if there's any additional information. Black Knight. But yeah, it's a it's a great um, resource. Resource, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Castles a place there. You have the elite, 
version of the Hamlet's Ablaze, now it's the Castle Ablaze. It does the same thing, just destroys elite stuff instead. Again, a lot of cycles, but also a lot of cycles in this uh, set. Yeah. That's beautiful, the art on charge by Rodney Matthews. I'm loving these new sites. Marta Molina, it's wow, it's so pretty. Bonfire, you may destroy all weapons and armor nearby. Oof. Yes, that, that hurts. That hurts, that hurts a lot. And it takes away a lot of lances on the, on the grid. I think Battle Mage might not see very much play. He might have, but he also gets some, some new cool weapons, so... Shameless Squire. Oh, he's doing a little trick Indeed. against his opponent. Mm, I love that. And Thankless Shrier. Tax, Tax Collector. <laughs> I think this is a good card. You know, having that little, little taxation on your opponent and maybe delaying them a turn or two, that could give you the victory. Evil Control Knight players. Who, who me? Maybe. Don't listen to her nonsense. Oi, why? Okay, this this is a tough one to crack. Yeah, but usually if you open it at the sort of like the bottom where it has the, the uh, white or silver little tap there, it gets a lot easier. Submerge and powering. Okay, this is a hard one to get rid of. For sure. It needs a you know direct die spill. Yes. And is it, an, is it a giant again? It's a giant. Yeah, so again, really strong uh, giant type, strong beast type, uh, strong fairy type in this set. Mm. Fire breathing can be cast by an allied beast or dragon. Yes, and unfortunately there is a wrongful artist attribution on that no. card. It is in fact Alan Pollack that did this specific piece. Okay, but that means that you might want to hang on to these if they are corrected in the second printing. Perhaps, Because yes. we know that Aetherian Legends is printed in waves. Yes, that is, that's true. What's this? Gain one for each nearby site with an enemy atop it. Ooh, that's a powerful tower. It's a it's fun... A beacon. Do you think a beacon counts as a tower? No, not unless there any, it's like an errata or something. I don't Ooh, think so. But I like this. That yeah, yeah really... it's a really cool card for sure. Ooh, Sakei. And we also know that in the set of Ethereum Legends, it seems like the unique knights might, you know, be pulled quite as frequently as elite cards. Yes, but they're, as far as I remember, if they're double, double threshold, so like, uh, two, like two fire and two uh, water or whatever, yeah. then it is one of the true, I'm doing air quotes, yeah. um, uniques and not one of the elite knights. Okay. Another Squire. possibility of a curio, but yet it eludes us. Hunter's Lodge. Saracen Scout. Duel. Squeakers. Piggies. Arch Lightning. Fisherman's Family. Uh, but again, we've only gotten two foils, so there should be roughly either four or five foils left. Uh, no. Knighthood. I love you may, that card. If you control an ordinary mortal, you may summon a knight, so a dam from your hand to this location. Holy it's shit. It's very, very powerful. Only one? That's <laughs> insane. That's, wow, that's insane. But again, it makes sense why we're seeing a lot of knights, because they're really, they're there for, for limited play, but also because there's so much interaction with them. So people, I think they wanted people to have like a chance of actually pulling and, and doing something with the mm. knights. Sword and shield? Plus two power. I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's, I mean, again, I, I'm the kind of person who needs to play with it to sort of understand if it's good or not. Enemies can't move to here on foot, on the ground. Okay. A bailey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is a sort of fun, you know, it's it's like a, a spell and a site mixed into sort of one. Yeah, it's an, uh, a monument. Yeah, exactly. So you sort of book. Ooh, Ooh questing, questing beast. beast. Oh, wait a minute. Was that in the... Uh, no, no, that's... Uh, that was in the unique spot. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. This one has actually people, if you get it in a uh, foil, a really cool uh, little Easter egg. Oh, yes, it has. That's a very powerful card. Yeah, for sure. I think water has gotten a lot... Ooh, Ooh. that's a foil, a lot of upgrade. 
Oh, beautiful pond. pond. Wow. Can we get it down just a little to catch the light? Yeah. Wow, that is stunning. Absolutely Sam gorgeous. Let's see. Wow. That's a gorgeous piece of art. <laughs> Left hand, <laughs> not that proficient. Let us stray. Harassing ruffians. Just a rocket. Just a rocket. I just hate that card. Your arch nemesis. Oh, yes. I saw it and I, I just, I raged and I raged and I raged. <laughs> Old man yelling at the clouds, right? Exactly. Ooh, hide the sprites. Ooh, that can Spicy. be annoying. Do you want to build an earth uh, air deck and just yeah. do tech collecting but, and but hide the sprites? these two together, the one you just pulled. Oh. Being able to look at your opponent's hands and already calling out, oh, you can't play this one. That's pain. Just waiting until they think they can cast it the next time. They're like, no. Exactly. And we really saw uh, in the tournament, we saw a lot of lookouts Power being played. Flag. Yeah, Sly Fox, that's also a very cool. Oh, card. yeah. That, that mechanic of going in and out of the foxhole, yeah. retreating back and getting stealth. Give that, that a sh uh, sword and shield. For sure. It's going to hit for three and become stealth again. Mm. Exactly. That could or be annoying. Or just a little lance, which you have ample opportunities to create. Giant killer. Kill target nearby a giant. All right. Makes I sense. I think the blue is very intense on this card. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Oh, it might actually be some blue bleed, maybe? No, it looks like the same on the questing bees, right? Yeah, I think it's just very intense up there. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I love this one. Sweet Girl by Elvira uh, Pelikowska. Very fun little card. So take target nearby artifact that can be carried and hide it beneath this site. As I said to Sean Ooh. on the stream, it's like squirreling the uh, <laughs> artifact away. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't seen this. Golden Heart. Strike damage and life loss caused by enemy units is reduced by two. Wow. Ooh. I love the combination of the purple and the yellow for some reason yeah. on this card. Severin Pinot. Ooh, amazing. Shout out. Amazing art. An amazing artist. After meeting her at Spiel, I am even more in awe. She is an amazing artist and a really kind person. Ooh! Wow! Now, Wizard how beautiful is fire. that? Oh, the Ooh. foiling is stunning. I was trying to put these down so I can actually move this Maybe around. Maybe down just a so little, you guys yeah. Can see it. Wow! Wow, right. that is wild. Elite file here. Do we have that? East? No. No Easter eggs. But look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. And again, Severine Pinot, right? Yep. Yep. Stunning. Wow. That was a good card to hit and foil, right? I would say so. Band of Thieves. Swinter Troop, you also spoke about this card. Yeah, I just, I think the flavor is just so spot on for this card. A lot of great storytelling. It's like that, you know, young maiden has lured the guard away and he's like, mm. and then the little troop takes the back door and he should be guarding. Exactly. Somebody's going good to get fired this morning. <laughs> or whipped, horse whipped. Oh yeah, it's in, <laughs> in medieval times. And a funny leprechaun guy. <laughs> Death right, draw sight. So if you kill him, you are going to reward your opponent. Yes, and it is through Tucker, right? It is, yes it is. Yes, which I just wanted to just say like briefly, that was also why they invited Drew and Severin and Vincent, because these three artists did a huge amount of pieces for the Legends, so they really helped sort of create the setting and the flavor. Cool. Yeah, you got to meet all, all three of them. Yeah, it was Lucky really you. cool. And I have the fourth Keating Banshee, <laughs> and I have my playset. I'm loving that. Feel Ready laborious. to uh, do some more spirits? Oh, yes. And the Hamlet. So I'm going to cast that Keening Banshee a little bit cheaper. <laughs> Probably in construction. I think it's harder to get the Keening Banshee to work in limited. Yeah, I think that so. That was too. Definitely, definitely the sense people got. What was that? I, had, I don't think I've seen that one. It's uh, Kingswood uh, Poachers. Oh, yes. It's a. Uh, <coughs> three power minion for four. It has stealth and genesis as such a spellbook for up to three beasts. Banish them, then shuffle. 
Such a spellbook, so you can target your opponent's spellbook also. Yeah, especially if you know your opponent is playing a beast deck, that's pretty annoying. Oh, poor wolves. Exactly. They can't this beast. Yeah, they do. Ha, <laughs> see, a big giant. Giant going to throw you? Ooh, Saracen Raiders, a very good card. Maybe cast to any side without enemies. And that's like the whole theme for the Saracens. Mm. That's like their thing. I think it's very cool. I think we're going, we've seen a lot of chart menu in Fire. I think you can do some really aggressive decks and construct For sure. Mm. Shapeshift, I haven't seen that. That's really cool. An ally minion tries to transform. Look at your next five spells. You may choose a minion among them to be the new form. Put the rest on the bottom. Whoa. Yes, yes. It's really, I think it's a really flavorful card. Wow. Wow. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, pretty. Shatter Strike. This is also a really good card, in my opinion. Yeah. So it destroys an artifact and it also strikes for four. I think you're right. I think that's powerful. Yeah, you do get some more like of the face and the rest of the character. And, and also the cape. You get yeah. to see a lot of... You can't actually really see the cape on this one. And the rest of his face. Yeah. It's actually a bit shame, you know. I think art is gorgeous and sorcery, but I think this tech box might actually take a little way of the art on this card. Yeah, but on the other hand, it also allows you to get that sort of sneak peek into the entire full art when you pull it in foil. Just a rock. True, that's true. Which feels like an extra reward for getting a foil. A little reward that for getting a foil. Soul. I think that's a funny guy. <laughs> cool. I All really right. like the Wizard Stand in foil. I'm kind of amazed at how how nice that looked. I saw this card uh, in some openings. I love it. I think the art is absolutely gorgeous. Rodney Matthews. Rodney Matthews, well done. Good job. It's very good. Blue knights. So we have all the different colors of knights. Yeah, we do it's white and blue key. and yeah. What is this? It's Juicy Pilkas. Forbury not. Baron Minion takes no damage from units with four or more power and is also a fairy. Yes, again, mm. supporting that fairy type. Wow, I think the art is gorgeous. For sure. That's an exceptional. Then we have an elite. Ooh. Grim. Grisam? Grisam? I think that is the uh, sort of axe. name for the uh, axe type. Barra takes and deals double strike damage. Oh. But, it's, but yeah, it, it also, also takes. takes. But it's all, only strike damage. Yeah. Mm. Give this to a Pudge Butcher. <laughs> oh, he's going to do evil work on you. Sparrow, Thieves, Swindler. Yeah, Leprechaun. we've seen a lot of the commons or the ordinaries now, so moving a little quicker through those. Indeed. But still trying to keep a lookout for those elusive curios. But so oh, far, gosh. I think nothing has been out of the ordinary. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dad jokes abound. Sorry. It's late in the evening here. So, Troll Bridge. Should we just, you know, if you get it anywhere else, I would ch check it to see if it should be. Not here, because it's in the regular slot that it's supposed to be in, but definitely otherwise, I could see him trolling with a Troll uh, Bridge. Oh, yes. Ooh, Ooh. Pyramid's Bridge. It seems like uh, very similar to the Great Wall. Yes, exactly. Maybe. Oh, is it the same element? No, it's not, because you can fly as, pay, as uh, flying, right? Uh, yes, but you can also with the Great Wall. Oh, but the, uh, yeah, I just the seem to remember there was like one better. distinction. I think that's unique, and this is only an elite. Yeah. So it might be to maybe see more of this sort of control field to the grid. Yep. That would make sense. Hamlet's Blaze, Burning Hands. Could you help me with my big pile of cards? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sisters of Avalon. Ooh, spellcaster. Ooh, that painting was uh, in the booth at Spiel Essen. Uh, mm. The uh, actual original painting. Wow, it's gorgeous. Alan Pollock. Boom. Nailed it. And Jeff Mengus. I love this. Minions at top nearby sites. 
reduced charge. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of added charge. There's a card charge, but there's also a lot of other things that add charge. I love the green, you know, lush forest we're seeing here. Indeed. <coughs> Cast into exile. Shuffle target minions, target minion. Shuffle target minion occupying an allied site into its owner's spellbook. <laughs> Get rid of I something. I summoned this big thing. Yeah, no, yeah back again. Yeah. Seems like a, well, a very blue thing to do. But it was actually an air spell, so. Yeah. I love that. But then another side is played nearby, its controller loses two life. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Ouch. Wow. Also, because nearby is like, you know, all the squares I around. Just need to, you know, get up in your opponent's face and just drop this. Yeah. Very fun in multiplayer. I and really limiting their uh, space for sites. Oh, yes. All right, so I'm going to go a little faster here. And I'm going to check. Yeah, you're for keeping an eye out. Only here. Don't think I missed anything. Nope. Or if we did, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> laugh. Oh, laugh. Oh, that again. Oh, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Dose Mary Pool, a unique site. You may submerge an artifact from your hand here. I think this is really cool also because, you know, it technically enables you to cheat a very expensive artifact into play. And if you have something that has, has submerged, yeah, you can just up. pick it up. For sure. And again, this could actually be a curio. So if you get it with not this art, but art by Marta Molina, it is the curio version. But I think you can feel that the set is a bit smaller. I think you're yeah, you're going you're, you're going to see a lot of duplicates after a while. In the ordinary at least in the ordinary slot. slot, right? Yeah, but of course that also means that you're going to be getting those cards you need in the ordinary. Warhorse, yes. very good card. Very good card, for sure. Sisters again. Babbling Brook. Babbling Brook. Which Until is your nice. next it turn, has... minions are disabled while it's up nearby sites. Oof. Yep. So you can put your avatar in there because it says minions and not units. Ooh! Sealy gold. Beautiful, beautiful art by the Stanforth. Indeed. Wow. Very happy to get that one. Wasn't that the card that she revealed herself? Yes, at the uh, uh, IX con, I think, yeah. last year. And she also gave like an interview and spoke about the entire sort of uh, thing Bad behind Luke. it. Warhorse? Yes. Ooh, yes. Castle Hunt. Jens is getting more power for his spirit deck, right? Maybe cast to any elite or unique site as if it leaves its summoning site. So, of course, it's limited, you know, and it can't really move out of, out, of, out of the way. But having a four power minion for three in air. That's Only pretty. one threshold. That means you can technically cast this on turn two. Hmm. True. And it says maybe cast to any elite or unique site. So if your opponent has a elite or unique site, you can just put it on their playing field and start swigging for four. That's that's a, a good deal, I think. I think so too. I think this might actually go in my spirit deck. Of course. Of course. Ooh. The Horn of Kaleon. It reminds me of the uh, Fiona or Tapestry by Geek Out Real yeah. Nearby minions have a charge. Whew. Ouch. Ouch. Again, and again, that's also interesting why where there's some of this stuff that's cancelling charge because we have a lot of extra charge. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. King Banshee. I'm really hoping that I'm going to draw Pudika. I think she's broken. She's for sure cool Absolutely part. broken. And if we're not lucky enough to get her in the boxes we're going to crack, I think it's one of those that we're going to be buying from Cold Fall Heroes. Absolutely. Ooh. So Cold Fall Heroes is your guy for singles and we are sponsored, but we were buying from him uh, long before and a lot of people in the community also know him as a really great guy with very fast shipping. Sir Tom Thump. Yes, yes, that's a fun one. A fairy knight. And it's also unique. 
keep your eyes peeled. I see nothing out of the ordinary. I just again. needed to do that oh, double joke up again. On the oh yes, oh yes. Ouch, ouch, ouch! That hurts. It's late. I need. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Ooh, another castle hunt. Ooh, nice. I love the islanders. What, Sabrina Pinot again? She is. Uh, but again, that was what I was saying. That they have all three done a lot of art for this set, so it feels more cohesive. Uh, and I think they chose some of the. Artists that are really good. Ooh, mm -hmm. this is really interesting. So uh, this dame, um, Brito Mart, uh, she was also uh, one of the paintings that was with Drew Tucker at Spiel Essen. And he did a really interesting interview with me uh, where he had a lot of cool insights to share uh, about this specific painting. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one on the channel because uh, it was a really great conversation. and. Thanks a lot to Drew for, uh, for taking the time for that. It is actually his wife that is um, doing the sort of uh, modeling for this specific dame. Uh, and he wanted her to be fierce and cool and really just like enjoying her uh, bloody battle. Enjoying her slaughter. Absolutely. I love it. And it's also a very good card, I believe. It is, for sure. Getting minions from your cemetery. Ooh. Do we have something that could fill your cemetery? Yeah, so I, I, I do believe of those that there is knights. some stuff where you can cheat it into the cemetery. Oh. Squeakers. Squeakers. Wow, okay, I think we've gotten a lot of the great knights. Uh, again, and just like just there's a ton a... of great cards. I'm just really looking forward to actually sitting there and having some time for deck building. Yellow knight. This, you know, in, in my world, this is a knight. You know, when I think of a knight, this is the image I conjure in my mm. head. I can't remember what that helmet type is called in English, but but yeah. Cool. You know, the, the, the triangular shield, this helmet type, the cape. I'm like, yeah, that's a knight. Billowing behind the knight, yes. Exactly. This is more like a squire in my book. Okay. Yeah. You get to be a knight too. Discount Ooh. knight. Virin. Oh, I right. think. Shoot a projectile, it deals 4 damage on impact, then changes direction. Its next impact deals 2, then it changes direction, its final impact deals 1. Ooh, that's spicy. That's very spicy, but imagine that one in foil. Dum, dum, dum. With yeah. the amazing foil that they do. Wow. I also think, you know, with the addition of Ethereum Legends, you're going to be able to build some really powerful spells in the decks using Absolutely. air and fire. For sure. And when you're talking spell slinger, you're talking about the type of deck, not the avatar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, a deck where you mostly just have spells. For sure. Of course, it, it might be negated. There's this ring that you deal no da uh, magic damage. That exactly. could be a little. Yeah. Oh, there we have the grand old ball. <coughs> and that's like the last, I'm um, again, air quotes, but like Pokemon evolutions from the tiny ones to the Pigs of Sunder and up to the. Uh, Great old. A 5-5. Five, five. No, 5-5 five for 5. Has charge if there are dead squeakers. Ooh. So you, that, I think that's cool, right? Angry you, ball. You, exactly. You anchored this old boar and now it's coming for you. Kill its babies. Yes, exactly. And now it's out for blood. Yeah. Ooh, Two so packs left. Down to the last two. Ooh. It always I goes by too fast, right? We might have maybe one more foil in store. Maybe yes. not. Another Virin. Ooh. Ooh. Degradation. That is stripping a knight of his knighthood, his oh. title and his land. Transform a mortal into a foot soldier. Mm -hmm. Oh, the insult. Stone Ray, little magical marsh again. Right. Pretty Whoa. cool art. Target assigned up to two steps away, deal one damage to everything on top atop it, repeating for each side in your hand. Ooh. Ooh. That's spicy. That and really spicy. sort of punishing your opponent for building up too much on one side. Ooh, Sepilius. Sepilius. Cost three, four power, three um, toughness. Submerge moves free between water locations. Very good card. Very good card indeed. Water is really seeing a bit of a, a buff here in Ethereum Legends. 
Yeah, and I th- you know, I think it's fitting because water hasn't been played that much. I think, you know, some water lovers out there has done their best to build great water decks, but we haven't seen much of them in tournament plays. Mm. But that might be about to change. I think so. I think so. Ugh, being bested by a water mage. <laughs> the absolute contempt on your face right now. <laughs> Exception minions cast one less to cast to their side. Mm, very Not good. bad. Degradation. And a hunting party. This card was actually, you know, cut from Alpha and Beta. I think the artwork, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a sample card. So again, proving that even though we see it early and it isn't used for a couple of sets, it might pop up later. Mm. So a range that makes enemies lose stealth nearby. That's cool. Oh, King's Council. Ooh. Draw a card for each unique ally. A lot of cards draw out of that. And is that, I'm trying to look at it, is it true? Yes, it is indeed. Mm, nice. My great <laughs> spotter of art. Spending too much Ooh. time. Ooh, nice. Power of Flight. Last foil in the last pack. Beautiful. There you have it. Gorgeous. Carefully considering, no. could there be a curio? Just one tiny? No, no, no curio. So what do you think? Was this, uh, you know, it's hard to evaluate. It's hard to, I, yeah, exactly. Because like we have a lot of cool cards. There's a lot of playable cards, but I mean, it's difficult to say right now because you don't quite know what are you going to be building around. What's the stuff you really want to see? Should we just have a look at the uh, uniques? How many did we get? We got Sibelius, one. Damn, Brittlemart, two. So Thump. Maybe I should just um, also so we can see what are the knights. Yes. Because I think, you know, the knights make out maybe half of the uniques. Usually two thirds, actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah. So six unique knights. Yes. Then we got the Dasmari Pool, the Questing Beast, and the Black Plague, and Pendragon Legacy. So four unique non-knights and six unique knights. Which Ten falls in total. pretty much within the average of between nine and 12 uniques per box. Then we got, let's see, just trying to See if I can do... Okay, I suck at this. <laughs> okay, so one ordinary... No, two two ordinary files. Elite there, at least. Uh, yes, yes, yes. One, two, three exceptionals, and one elite file. Nice. So how do you feel about the opening, now that you've seen it? Mm, I want to open more. <laughs> I think you're getting to see a lot of the ordinaries. Um, yeah. It... it yeah, it might be cooler with a bigger set, but it, it's okay. And I'm looking forward to see some of the other cards. I need Putika. I need Putika in my fire deck. Yeah, for sure. But I got a lot of the ordinaries that I wanted. I wanted the Magic Missiles, the Keening Banshees, the Red Breast Robin. Yeah, so you have a, a lot of playables. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to see some of the foils, especially that Wizards then. I think the art is amazing. Uh, pretty interested also in the Questing Beast. I might actually try some stuff with water just to see how it feels. Oh, he's giving me the, the oh, side yes. eye, guys. She got the eyes. Like, Let what? me know down in the comments. I mean, some of you guys have to want to try out the water, right? With all these new cards, a lot of fun stuff. Um, yeah, I think I think this was a, a really a nice box for sure. Very, very nice. So, guys, please smash the like button. Consider becoming a subscriber. Um, and... Uh, let us know what you've been opening out there. Do you want to have just like one more to look at the beautiful uh, signed box? Indeed. So thank you, Eric. And thank you to the entire Sultry team for taking good care of Sophie at Spiel and for bringing me this wonderful box. And We will see you in the next video.